Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. It has been a while. Uh, I have not been idle, though. So I wanted to go and do a quick little video to show off some new uh, features that I've been uploading to the website and also share the actual website URL. Uh, people have been joining my Discord and going, hey, I'm not seeing these features. I'm, like, well, what I'm not seeing this. What's going on? Um, and the truth is because my website was getting extremely overloaded during uh, peak hours. It was just not responding very well. It was not the greatest hardware. So um, I recently opened up a Patreon and uh, I have, I was lucky enough to get a lot of uh, supporters and uh, I appreciate every single one of you. And so as a result, I was able to get a dedicated server for this. And it also I was able to get a domain name. So now the website is ho is hosted at cappyrng.com. That's C-A-P-P-Y-R-N-G.com. So there you go, you can go there and you can access the website. This is uh, new hardware, it's faster, it's better, it's stronger, it's awesome. Uh, also on top of this, uh, the Discord user in uh, Adam has uh, was the original person who did the uh, GUI that I based everything off of, and I just kind of duct taped everything and made it work. But uh, he came back in and redesigned a lot of stuff and made it look way better and work faster. And so I'm eternally thankful. But I've got some new features to go over. And first off, we're going to go to the settings page, which was here before but didn't actually do anything. And now, if you go here, you can set your research level per Pokemon. And you can see here, you can also set it base level of level 10, perfect. If there's a shiny charm, you do that. You save, you, you do it here, it'll save it to your local storage, and then whenever you do an MMO or multi-spawner or a uh, alpha seed or anything like that, it will use that level of research. So I've had people go like, okay, well, I have I have a Cyndaquil at perfect research, but Quilava is only at level 10, and I have a, a alpha Quilava bonus round what do i do before i was like okay just use whatever research level that you want you, you want to get the shiny in now you can actually set it so okay i have, per, I have level 10 research on quillava and i have perfect research on Cyndaquil. great now the the tool will operate so make sure you set that and it's in the settings tab over here um everything else is the same in function uh there was a bug that was fixed in the multi-spawners which caused not all the paths to be shown so as a result I've had to kind of trim things down a little bit 16 is now the max number of advances because otherwise it causes the web server to reboot and that is not fun um, but I've also added in a lot more multi spawners and I'm still gonna be adding in more but I've added in a bunch there um, they're all here in the select spawner field um, and then MMOs are exactly the same now you'll also see that filters are are this new this filter thing is new and so let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and let's go to an mmo here and i'll go grab a seed real fast because i happen to have a list of a lot of seeds here so i'm gonna go ahead and take this this seed put it in here okay uh first round seed uh, let's just say it's 10 uh let's say it's a uh, basculin alpha bascu legion all right bonus round seven now you can select a number of different filters. It, by default, it will go to shiny only. But if you want to, you can choose any of these other filters. Like, let's say you want Pokemon that have zero attack IVs. It will only display the Pokemon with zero attack IVs. If you want, let's say I want to see only perfect Pokemon, six IV Pokemon, go ahead and select that. It will only display the ones that match that criteria. Let's go ahead and do a search here, see if we can have any... Uh, oh, hey, we do. We do actually have some. So you can see here that we do have some Pokemon displayed, and it's, it's only going to display six IV Pokemon. And then down here, we also have results filters, which you can do after you run your search. Like now I can see, oh, are there any shinies? No. Are there al any alphas? Yeah, these are all alphas. Are there any that have multiple paths, or are there only that default paths? You could do all that. So like, if we want a shiny six IV Pokemon, you can now search for that in, in specifically. If you are insane and you want a zero speed, zero attack, you could do that. Search for it. Let's see. We, do we, yeah, no results found because that's fairly rare. But uh, the, let's say we want a um, zero attack with 
five IVs that are 30 plus. Go ahead and search for that. And hey, we do get some. Do we see any of that shiny? No, but that's okay. So you can do that. And you can see here that it's a almost perfect Pokemon. And there's also some, some other things like you can search for filter out to just square shinies. So these are just the square shinies that are available. And so on and so forth. These, these are all functions that you can do for both multi-spawners and MMOs. They're, they're both live as of right now at CappyRNG.com. Again, that's CappyRNG.com, my new domain. Cappy.PythonAnywhere.com still exists. It's not fully up to date. I intend to bring it up to date. But this is newer hardware, faster hardware, better hardware. And um, I, I'm pretty pretty proud of it. So uh, huge, huge thanks to Adam for coming in and refactoring my, uh, my code and making it just run way more efficiently. But everything should still function exactly the same. Just feel free to use this website. Uh, it will, of course, remain free to anyone. But if you do support me on Patreon, there are a couple bonuses that I do give to, to supporters. So that's all I've got for today. Um, right now, I am working on variable multi-spawners, and I've actually been testing it, and the results are promising. I actually have had some good results from it, and, and uh, caught a unknown, a few unknown shinies. Not not shinies that I don't know what they are, just unknown that are shiny uh, through the variable multi-spawner. But that's going to be CFW only, and I'm still perfecting the process for that, so I'll do a video on that soon. And of course, if there's any other Pokemon news that comes out in the near future, like an update to any of the games, oh, you better believe I'll be in there to figure out what we can do with it. So until then, thank you so much for all of your support. Everyone has been super great, and I just really appreciate it. And I will catch you all next time. Good luck in your hunts.